you know, sometimes you just can't overcome, you know, this many injuries that we have. I mean, we have uh, uh, pretty much five guys out of our top nine or top ten out of the rotation or, or you know, not playing because of injury. So, um, you know, and it's, and it's next man up, but sometimes you just fall short. At all easier to accept these losses knowing no, this is not your no, team a month from now? No. Accept losses? Well, no. Uh, no. This is not the team we're going to see a month from now. Yeah, but I'll never accept a loss. It's not, it's not in my DNA. We're joined by FS1 NBA analyst Chris Broussard. Welcome, Chris. What? Good morning. Hey, it's good to be here. Stop it. It's not yeah. his DNA. No, it's Skip not. It. Skip, there's a different thing Wait. between accepting it oh. and someone putting one on you. Oh. Just because someone beat you up, oh, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm good. It's good. It's all right. It's yeah, good. moral well, victories. He's saying we don't take oh. that. Yeah. But he's lost five finals, but it's not. Keep going. I don't Chris, know. Chris, the Cavs struggles right now just about the injuries. <laughs> Look, I, I think what LeBron's trying to do is remain positive. Yes. I think he understands in January it wasn't a good look to be sulking. It was bad leadership and all that. So how do you remain positive with this type of play? You point to what is true, the injuries. Right. The thing is, it never looks good when you say it. Right. Let the media say it. Let somebody else say it, but you don't come out and say it. Now, the question is, is it a legit legitimate excuse? It sounds like an excuse. Is it legitimate? Obviously, they're missing a lot of people. But Ke Kevin Love, we can't even really put him in the conversation right now because he's never played with the new guys. My thing is... They have been up and down and inconsistent even, you know, before these injuries hit right. with the new guys or right. with one of the new guys, Rodney Hood. So, to me, their main problem is defense. Mm -hmm. Offense, I see good cutting. You know, they look fine here and there. Defense is their problem. They're inconsistent. You don't know what you're going to get from night to night. Obviously, the Lakers scorched them. I don't see any communication I see them losing guys defensively. They, they just look lost, and that's a problem. Now, here's the question to me, because we talked last week about is LeBron, is this the best LeBron we've seen? The reason I say it's not is because he's not the same on the defensive end, and he used to be able to carry groups less than this he did. to 60 wins. That is you know? correct. Now, can he still do it? I don't know. I, I'm waiting to see in the playoffs because – I'm thinking and hoping he's going to turn up his defensive intensity in the playoffs, and then we'll see kind of a different team altogether. Uh, but if he can't, and then this is just who he is, then this shows the 15th season. He can't get it done consistently on the defensive end, and that's why this team is so inconsistent on that. I end. think the thing is that we're used to seeing LeBron, and you said early in his career when he was in Cleveland, yes, he drug uh, – worse teams than what he's playing on yeah. now but so the team that he was playing against is also worse than what the teams are playing they, now. well you had boston you had the big three in boston you had dwight howard in orlando you had the the but detroit he, team but he, could, Rashid them. but he couldn't beat them he well beat, in the regular season right. i'm he saying beat, he, he would beat, beat them. he did beat, the, beat pistons the pistons and, uh, yeah. and broke and broke really broke that up i just think the thing is and i agree with you chris is that they're not playing defense very well forget who's not there i got to go to battle with who i have and these are the guys that I'm counting on. You can't give up four 20-point scores to the Lakers. I'm sorry, that's unacceptable. You can't have, and Drew Randall has been playing great, but you can't let him have 36, 14, and 7. That can't be his stat line. Brooke Lopez looked like a competent center all last night. Caldwell Pope. He looks that way a lot of nights. Go ahead. Not the most nights he doesn't. I mean, dude had 27 points and no rebounds, but that's not the hero nor there. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas. You notice how accepting Isaiah Thomas is of coming up to He him? got his powers back. Yeah. <laughs> Come in off the bench, hog the ball in the second unit. He wanted to hog the ball in the first unit. Wish him all the best. This looks like a great situation for him. But the Lakers are an upcoming team. They're going to be up and down. Did you see discount Steph Curry? Lonzo Ball. That's what they call it. They call it discount Steph. That's, that's discount Steph. That's what his Twitter follower. No, I didn't. No, no, no. Discount Steph. Discount Steph. It's got to be a meme yeah. out there somewhere. Yeah, there's it, somebody it, out it, there. It, it ain't out there. It ain't out there. So scared. Lonzo wasn't a huge factor, no. obviously. Hey, I wish he was. He just got hammered. Yeah, I, just, I just wish he, I wish he was a huge factor. That way, mm. that would have kept the ball. I wish Brandon Ingram was out there mm. because he got to get his shot, which means Julius Randle wouldn't be getting all the, <sighs> the layups and dunks. But. Like oh. I said, let's not worry about who's injured. Guys that are playing, I need something from JR. I need a little yeah. bit more from Jeff Green, especially now that he's going to be in the starting lineup. Mm. And I definitely need some more from George Hill. Mm.
So LeBron to get this thing going on Tuesday night, going up there on he Thursday. Better on Tuesday. Ain't going up there. We finna win out. They can't lose. We they going lose streaking. Tuesday. Three and zero. Oh. Mm. You heard it. Bet a billion on it. Three and zero. Oh. <laughs> yep. Huh? Yep. Well, I know we got a case to do on it. So I keep trying to get aboard this bandwagon. I did after those three boom, boom, boom trades in the eleventh hour at the deadline. Yeah, it was. That was spectacular. It looked like they played together for three years. Mm -hmm. Everything clicked. Defense clicked. It did. I don't know what's happened. They're now six and six, the new Cavs. Six and six? And they just lost back to back at Staples to the Clippers and the Lakers by 14 and 14. That's wrong. That's just wrong. And they're still, to your point, and I've been making this for weeks now, they're the Cleveland Cavaliers because there's no D on the end of it because there's no D in Cleveland. It's just Cleveland. And I look at them and I say, you just let Isaiah Thomas torch you? You, you turned him back into the guy who was healthy in Boston. You, you made him look like that guy. Seriously? He's like, give me the ball. Give me the ball. <laughs> really? Because nobody's playing. And to your point, LeBron James is clearly, he has the highest IQ of anybody playing this game. And I don't think it's even close. And he did make one no-look pass. That was, it was spectacular. He can do that. But offensively, now, he looked. Offensively. He's yes. still playing at, yes. the, at a supremely okay. high level. You could argue he's playing at as high a level offensively because he yes. is. He does have the mind to go with the body. But defensively, I don't get it because he can quarterback. He plays on the back line. You know, he can call, and he got hoarse after the first couple of nights because he's screaming out defensive signals. I don't know what's happening because – Julius Randle just played bully ball. And it's, he was like, give me the ball, and he's just going to keep sort of bumping and grinding until he gets it up he to the rim. Like, he looked like Shaq. He did. He, he was Shaq. like no, a baby did. Shaq. He Am I he, right? He looked like somebody you're saying, man, they can't get rid of him. Yeah. The Lakers can't let him and, go. And, and he's 6'9", 250. He's 250. Yeah. He's a load now. Mm -hmm. And Luke said, Luke Walton said before the season started, and I brought it up on the show, he said, he is a quote-unquote monster, and I don't think Luke would go to monster unless they thought he had this kind of potential. Laying his tail but I'm, obviously, went last night, third and fourth quarter. I thought, well, maybe LeBron will take him and just body him up and get physical with him. But LeBron wants no part of that. That right used now. to be the case, and you remember this, Chris, early in his career. For like the first ten to twelve years, LeBron would always take if he was a three or shooting guard. LeBron would always take the best player. Yeah. But this is the way Larry always did it. Larry never took the best offensive player for the opposing team. That assignment went to Kevin McHale. They put Kevin McHale on Dominique. They put someone like that because they didn't want Larry to expend the energy on that end. And this is what they're doing with LeBron now. Can you imagine if he spent that kind of energy on the defensive end? No, he and, and look, <laughs> 15th year in your career, you can't no. do it. Now, the question is, does he turn it up in the playoffs? Oh, no. And I think he will. Last year, that's what he did. Right. Remember their defense was pretty bad last year? Playoffs, it was a different LeBron and a different right. Cavs team. Uh, if he can't do that, if he can't turn it up defensively, then they, they could be vulnerable in the East. Because here's the, another thing. If you look at them, let's just take the game, the last, the last two games. They get pounded on the glass. Yeah. DeAndre 2020, and then you had Drew Randall had 14, Kuzma had 10, you had Brooke Lopez. Lopez had so look at the look at the teams in the East that can really do damage to them. Joel and B could pound you on the glass. The Hassan Whiteside can pound you on the glass. Those are the teams that can really cause you some problems. Now Toronto has a guy in, in, in Demar Derozan that can go get you a bucket late in the ball game, but can they punish? Big, but yeah. can they punish the Cavs on the glass? Because that's what, if you look at it, Skip, that's what that's what beats them now. Andre Drummond had a what? Well, a 20, and 26 re ball remember game. this though. And yesterday they did miss Tristan and Kevin Love yes. the, this weekend in L.A. There's no question about it because the big not Montreal Love's not going to help the defense, but he, Tristan would certainly and the rebounding. So. In the playoffs, they should be better on that end. But they handled Detroit, you know, yeah. which was big inside. And that's the – the defense – your offense is going to fluctuate. You know, sometimes you're going to be hitting three, sometimes you're not. Defense should be steady every night. You might have a bad night here and there. But for the most part, you should be consistent, especially now that you have the youth and the athleticism. Right. And LeBron – you said it. He talked about getting hoarse. And I, he wasn't getting hoarse yesterday that I saw. Like, you have to be, and it's not just him, but they need communication. Right. I, it, it, and I hate to say it. We talked about Tyloo. 
you can't get rid of him now, obviously. And I'm not even saying you get rid of him after the season. But it doesn't look like he's getting these guys energized nope. to play defense. Did, how about this? Go back and play. Don't, you didn't have offense the first couple of games they got there. Go back to playing that. They didn't have any offense drawn yeah, up. Because yeah, now maybe right. they're thinking too much. But I, I just think the thing is, is, uh, is that when you look at this guy, these guys from a defensive standpoint, and I agree, Chris, you think they can mo rotate multiple, multiple times. And you hear Luke Walton says, hey, guys, that's a good shot. That's a good shot for you. But against this defense, we can get way better shots than that. Mm. Yeah, think about that. Mm. Like, <laughs> he said that's a good, a wide open, a wide open, uncontested shot is a good shot. But we can get better shots than that, Skip. Mm. But O'Brien will turn it up. Yep. Somebody, he's going to meet somebody in Phoenix. You know, whether or not probably go up to Camelback. Yeah, Miss Triple yeah. Dub out there waiting on him. So, Chris, Devin Booker you, probably get you know 60, what though. hurt Shannon Sharp the what most hurt about me? last night? Pro Football Hall of Famer, that his man LeBron James reached for the injury excuse after the game. And I get she's trying to put a positive spin on it, but look, he, he is playing or was playing last night with two of the better Lakers. He had Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nash Jr., so they weren't even on the Lakers, and Brandon Ingram wasn't playing yeah, for the Lakers. Yeah. Clark Clarkson so, didn't play well, Skip. You know well, that. That, that's a great point because I, I, part of me wants to look at this team is making so many adjustments because the injuries and the roster changes mm -hmm. and all that. But the Lakers have – they're just one example of a team that's had injuries and roster changes, and they have a ball movement type of offense yes. that's tougher to adjust to than, than what Cleveland does. So I can't give them that excuse. <sighs> Larry Nash Jr. should be the first to second guy off your bench. He's not supposed to be the second best player on your team no, currently. No. And that's what he is. I'll give him credit. He plays hard every single night. He's going to rebound the ball. He's going to play defense. He's going to challenge guys. And he, he's great setting screens for oh. Bron picking and rolling. But the pick and roll, the Cavaliers pick and roll defense is terrible. You can get whatever you want because we saw Jokic pick them apart when they were in Cleveland. Everybody that wants to beat up on the Cavs is you get them in pick and roll and everybody's looking at like, who you got? Somebody got to get the guy that's dunking the ball. Mm. <laughs> now, I don't know who got who, but I just know somebody need to get him. Mm. You can't say hmm now. Mm. You say hmm now, but that's okay. <laughs> we got something for you. You thought to be clear to the What you, do you, you got you, for you me? You concerned oh, yeah. now about them winning the East? I, I just don't know. I can't even recognize this team anymore. You recognize them? They'll win yeah. the next. They'll probably win the next couple. Couple? They, they, couple? Yeah, I think they got couple. Couple? I think they got Blazers. Portland, 15 out of 16 at home. 3-0. Portland. 15 out of 16. Chris.